Well, here we are on the surf. It's a beautiful tide. Such an important part of a successful surf fishing outing is the conditions that you're dealing with. It's an afternoon low tide. We're gonna bottom out at about negative 1.2 today. Super, super low tide. And a, right now it's a zero to one swell. I think it's gonna come up to a one to two foot swell by the time we finish today. But man, it's as good as you're gonna find it. There is a little bit of a breeze and a little bit of a current. The water looks a little dirty and uh, looks like seaweed or salad can be an issue. But other than that, the water is uh, looks so, so good. So we're gonna try pulling some halibut here. Find the structure, find the fish. Let's see how we can do it. There is a nice little drop off right here. And so we're gonna try to hit this little drop off. And we got the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow 110. Let me show you the color. Brand new color from Lucky Craft, Chicka Chicka BP. I love like the, the bright blue on top, the classic pink on the bottom, and a little chartreuse dots along the scales. Beautiful lure. The wind is a little, definitely a little bit of a bother. I think we're gonna be able to make two here, guys. Uh, maybe we can get bit. We'll find out here. Beautiful, right, right here in front of me. It's a little drop off. Really only accessible at a low tide. Yeah, the water's dirty, look at this. This is gonna be an issue. A couple more casts and then we might have to move. Yeah, this is absolutely too much. Uh, we're gonna have to move. Water still has like a foot to recede. So conditions could get better. It could kind of suck out some of this junk and it can be fishable for a very short period of time. So we're gonna keep our eye on the time and uh, mark the spot and try to come back maybe in like 45 minutes or so. All right, new area, not too far from where I was. There's a little boiler or a rock underneath there that's covered up. It's a trough in front of me and there's a little cut right there. So I believe the water's sucking out best through there. Entry, exit way for fish and the possibility. We just need some cleaner water and I think we can find something. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Yep. Small fish, but found him holding in the middle of the structure. I was bumping into all sorts of rocks. So I'm not gonna even back out. I'm gonna bring him out and let him go right here. If I can get eyes on him, that's all I really want. Yep, it's a short little halibut. I just hooked him, so he's not ready to be. He might pop off. He's barely hooked. Let's back out. Beautiful little halibut on the Chica Chica BP. Ate the first hook. Small little guy. We're gonna dehook him and get him out of here. I love how their body is just completely camouflaged with the sand. Thanks for letting me catch you. Go, 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 go. There he goes, there he goes. Oh, almost, almost. All right guys, super cool, broke the skunk. Now uh, we just wanna keep getting out there, hit that same structure a few more times, see if any, any more are holding in there and uh, just keep walking. Good to know that there's some fish holding, very, very fishable today, not perfect, but I would say if I had it my way, I would rather have the water be this calm and deal with uh, some of that salad and wind second, but both suck really bad. But let's catch the fish, let's go. That had a little bit hit on a very slow retrieve as I normally try to do. It's a little harder when the wind is blowing into the line and bows it out, then you kind of got to reel a little faster to get that slack line up. My lure is coming a lot closer. It started bumping into a lot of rocks. Like it was really, really shallow. When you are hitting rocks, you don't want to wait too long to get snagged, but a lot of times when you're hitting that structure is uh, when your lure looks like a injured bait fish and uh, kabam. So. That was a small one, not the one we're looking for, but a very, very good sign to just see fish. Whew. All right, just gotta slow down. Everything's, um, my heart is racing. So I wanna get bit, I'm excited. I'm a little scared of where I'm standing, but if everything goes too fast, you might be reeling too fast too. So slow it down, be in control. Oh my, moment of calm. Come on, baby. Fish on, fish on. It's gotta be a halibut, the way you bit. Small one though. Uh, small halibut, yes. I'll be okay if this guy just pops off. Pop off, buddy. I don't want anything to do with you. You're too small. All right, thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. 
All right, that's two halibut. Two very small halibut, not the size we're looking for, but again, it's always good to see signs of life. That's four bites, two fish. All right, this is a very big hole. It's a little bit over to my left. The line is right around right here. I'm waiting out because I can. I'm standing on very elevated sand. I want to get to the very back end of this hole. And then we can work the front end if there's nothing in the back end. See what happens. Oh man, I haven't seen the water so calm like this on this stretch of sand in a long time. But not everything is perfect today. Fish, oh shoot, oh! Oh, that was, did you guys hear the drag feeling? Oh, I don't know, that was either like a monster halibut or something or a really big ray. I'm just gonna say it's a ray. Uh, there's a chance the way that I was peeling drag right like that. Oh That hurts Let's try again that might have been the last chance for sure so But you gotta you gotta try to see if there's more in there. I Don't know what that was man that I I think it's pretty good chance. It was a big ray, but I will never know and who knows, it could have been a huge striper. It could have been a huge halibut. It could have been a big white sea bass. Not likely. The hit was very light, like a tail slap, you know? It wasn't like a heavy thump where your line stops, but it definitely stopped, which is why I set the, I didn't set it hard because I wasn't sure. And the way my line went. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay on. Oh, it's not as big as the other one. Oh, he wanted to come off. Come on, baby. Where are you? It's better than the first two I caught. I'm thinking it's a little bit bigger halibut. I'm guessing halibut. Yep. Yeah. Uh, is that a bass or halibut? Sand bass. Healthy sand bass might be illegal. Nice fish. I switched to the MKB, guys. Oh, let's let's get that hook out before it, it gets gilled. Nice little, oh, it's not illegal. Maybe like 10 inches, 12 inches maybe. 14 is legal. But thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. Go on and get bigger. Three for six today on bites, so that's not bad. It's not great, but definitely not bad. I, I would say six bites. Over a couple hour session with the Lucky Craft is actually a good session. <sighs> now we're, sun's gone. Now we're down to just the last few casts before it gets too dark and see if we can find something else. But that's a good sign that there was a sand bass in there. It's like real good life, you know? Oh, got him. I got him. This is a good one. No way! Is it a ray? It's fighting like a ray, he's going side to side. But I got what I missed last time. This is it. Come on, baby. What are you? Let's go, baby. Come on. He's pulling. There he goes. I don't know, I feel like this could be a really big halibut. It could be a ray too, but... I'm moving, I'm in. Rays would be fighting long, harder and longer than this. It's heavy, guys. It's heavy. Just gently, just gently sliding them in. Now I saw a fin. I saw a fin. I saw a fin. It's not, it's, it's not a ray. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh, this is big. Big, 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 big. Gently, gently, gently. You see me palming this forward, I don't have my fingers on there tight. He's not ready yet. He's right here. I see Finn. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a shovel nose. Ah. I saw that Finn, right, or maybe it's a shark. It's big though. 
pretty big. Let's see if I have a fair hook. It's a leopard shark. Yeah, leopard shark. That's cool. It's a pretty good size, man. I, I can't force them. Kind of using my fingers as drag right now. I'm applying pressure, but not like clamp down on my spool. So if he really wants to go on a spurt, he can. Opsin fluorocarbon, 15 pound. Holding up good so far. Oh, he was tail walking. Yeah, he doesn't want to come in, but he's close. He's right at the lip here, at the beginning of this hole where I hooked him. And I just need one push, maybe. One solid momentum of water. No, he's back in there. Can't get him in. Yeah, he doesn't want to come. Oh, there we go. Almost, 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 almost. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's pretty big, man, whatever it is. I'm just walking straight back. He's very, he's on the sand now. Wow, that's a, this is the biggest leopard shark I've ever caught. Oh my God, it's so big. Holy cow, look how big it is. Snagged him on the back. No, no. Snagged him on the back, but this is, wow, a big leopard. Oh, he, he got unbuttoned. Look at how big he is. I don't have a, a measuring tape, but this is the biggest one I've ever caught. It's pretty darn big. Pretty big leopard shark. And uh, very, very grateful. Just to give you reference, my foot. Hey, not every session ends up the way you want it. Today was unexpected, but appreciate you guys so much. We're gonna call it a day, go home, get some rest, and then we'll do it again. Until next time, tight lines.